Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today we are looking at the EW300. Uh, comes in three different models. I have two here. Uh, one is uh, a collaboration between Hawaiian Bad Boy and Simgot. I would have liked to have had that one, honestly, because I like his tuning. I think I have a bunch of his IMs, and I, I do like his tuning. Uh, we have the same taste in music. So anyway, um, surprisingly, the black box has a silver IM, and the silver box has a black IM. So we're just going to look at these. I mean, obviously, these are identical except for the cable and the uh, material. You can see there, there is the black one. And it has built-in DAC. And this one has the, you know, kind of very nice-looking silver-stranded cable with an L-shaped, by the way, an L-shaped um, USB-C, which I like a lot. Now, in both of these packages, you're going to get tuning nozzles. One will be silver. That'll be the brighter, kind of colder almost, uh, more neutral sounding nozzle. You get the rings to change the nozzles. You get the little foamies that go inside the nozzle if you ever lose those as well. So that's nice they give you that. And there's the silvers, which I particularly don't like. Um, out of every IM comes with those silvers, and I just really don't like them. Not my thing. I much prefer the gold nozzle, which we'll take a look at right now. The construction is very good. This is all solid metal. You get an X on one side with a mirrored finish and, and a heart on the other. You get the standard Simgot tips. I would have liked to have seen different tips with this, but that's okay. I got plenty of tips. Nice looking nozzle. Nice filter on the end of it. Good size. Eh, decent, not the longest nozzle, but not the shortest either. Uh, fit and finish on these, uh, you know, very well made. Very good passive isolation, very good fit, very good comfort wise. Uh, the, shape, the shape is very similar to the 200, only you can tell that this is a premium and it, it, it's amazing. You get this case, you get the tips, you get this beautiful cable, and the other one comes with a different cable, and we'll look at that right now. The other one comes with this gorgeous cable. I don't know if it's the... No, I think that was modular. But it does remind me a lot of the um, S12 cable. There it is in the silver. Looks really, really good in silver as well. This is a really nice quality cable. Braided with black and, and see-through. And 35 millimeter gold-plated. Very, very nice. You get the same filters and everything inside of it. So, just change this up for a sec. Okay, so another unique thing about this one, um, obviously the EW200 was a, was a um, dynamic. This one has a dynamic driver, a planner driver, and a piezoelectric ceramic driver. So you get a triple driver. This is like 69 bucks too. So all of this, the, the, the tips, the cases, the, the cables, this one even with a DAC, um, you get the basically all of that for $69. So that's pretty good. They, these are amazing for that value. And we're going to get into that in just a minute when I get into my notes plus you get tuning nozzles you can change the tuning that way and you get extra filters and you get extra o-rings and you get uh, you know the different things with it that you get with it um just really good value here uh i like it personally actually the dsp i'm going to tell you whatever i say about this the dsp is just a little bit brighter uh, a little less bassier, and that's mainly because of the cable. If you take this off and you put this on this cable, you'll have the same thing. It's just because of the DAC and, and the amplifier chipset in there. 
So 69 bucks. Build quality is out of this bloody world. Whereas the EW200 was metal, but it was like lightweight metal, and it was still very good. This one is a, has a decent weight to it. It's not overly heavy. It's very comfortable. It's still lightweight enough. It's like a cast metal. Um, it's made very sturdy. Uh, excellent, excellent accessories. I would give it a 10 for the accessories if it wasn't for the fact that they just give those same tips. Now, those are very good tips, and they work in 90% of the situations, but I would have just liked to see maybe a narrow bore or a wide bore, you know, something like that. It's not that I don't have those. I'm just nitpicking, to be honest. Um, good kind of cohesion between the different drivers. Uh, whatever the crossover is, it's excellent. Uh, the sound wise never gets any harshness, even though this one is a little brighter because of that uh, DSP chipset doesn't get harsh at all. It's n completely non-offensive to anybody treble heads and, and anybody that has problems with certain frequencies that I think, uh, if you're a fan of the EW 200, you may think this was an, a little bit more bassy, um, Whereas that one had like a really speedy, nice, you know, decently textured bass. This one takes it up more. This one you get that impactful, deep, uh, just very well textured, nice bass. Um, with still very good speed, even though it digs down lower. Uh, it still has very good speed and it's still in that balanced range. Definitely not bass head material. Although I suppose you could EQ this thing and go crazy. Uh, that wise, very good base uh, extension. I'm going to get into my my notes because I'm just rambling on about how much I like this one. I do like this one. This was a surprise. I wasn't even expecting much. I was thinking another EW with something. I didn't even know it was going to be a triple driver. I was just, I was like, oh, I got to have that. I love SimGot, the EA... 500 LP and the and which I helped tune and the um and the 1000 I never got to do the 2000 but the 1000 was fantastic still one of my favorites this is a new favorite so let's start at the base because we always do we start at the bottom and work our way up some people start at the top and whatever but to each their own um base uh sub base has very good depth to it uh it has a nice impact uh it actually sounds very very good uh it resonates but it doesn't like hang around a lot like i said it has very good speed and, and excellent natural decay uh mid bass punchy fast very nice indeed uh i think that it, it's good textured i don't think bass head people will be that impressed I think that to me it's impressive because of this this nice details going all the way down from the the, the mid bass all the way down to the sub bass. Um, I think that a lot of people will like that. I think listening to certain songs like uh, fast songs like one of my reference songs is uh, "Laid to Rest." By Lamb of God because of the speed and the nice double bass sound to it and it was recorded very well as well um, Sale by AOL Nation has a nice kind of bass hit and rumble um, I think that overall the both the sub and the mid bass do a very good um, you know overall performance with speed depth uh, the decay and the amount of detail I think a lot of people are going to like it. Just picture the EW200 with an additional, much better depth uh, and impact. And that's basically it for this. Mid-range on this. Lower mids, warm, uh, have a kind of nice kind of body to them, uh, especially male vocals. And then you get into the upper mid-range, and it gets a little bit more forward, a little bit more energetic, a little bit brighter. Nothing can harsh whatsoever, but it just gives an added edge to the female vocals. So both male and female vocals have something really well to offer. A little less so on the DSP model, where it seems bright and more balanced in the mid-range, uh, whereas it seems a little different on the regular cable. 
I think that overall uh, excellent detail, excellent texture, and they're, the, the way that they're placed just in front of the instruments, uh, they have a nice kind of separation and overall emotion to them. Um, moving into the treble region. The treble region is bright, but it isn't overly bright. It isn't overly sparkling. There's enough air and sparkle there to be enjoyed. Uh, there's very nice details there and very natural details. There was some tracks I was listening to where there's like this tiny little like ting and so, and you could hear that perfectly and it sounded really, really nice uh, and I could pick that out. So I really did like that whatsoever. Um, the soundstage on this, very expansive, very good for gaming, definitely. Very good for everything, uh, especially if you like that. I mean, there is some in you know instances with music, uh, especially like jazz or something, where I like a little bit more intimate. But overall, the soundstage was very, very good. It had a nice width, depth, and height, maybe equal almost at that point. Uh, I think that... It's open and airiness adds to that, and I think that there's just excellent um, imaging placement and overall just a good quality kind of soundstage to this. So that just adds to this. I, I mean, I can't pick anything out bad with this, to be quite honest. I liked the EW200, but I also like bass. So honestly, I really do like what they did with this one. For me, it's it's almost a perfect set. I mean, really, it is almost a perfect set, the way that it sounds. Uh, there's a nice, like I said, cohesion to it. There's no unevenness, even though there's three different types of drivers on this. I think it does just a really an overall an excellent job. If... If you like the USB, if you just want to grab these and go and you can plug them right in your phone unless you have an Apple phone, uh, you know, the DSP model is excellent. I can't speak for the, the collaboration HBB version. Maybe that has more added bass. I would like to try that. But this one overall fits the description of the, uh, you know, the standard description where it has the EW... 200s everything added a notch add a little bit more body and texture to the to the mid-range add a little bit more uh, depth and impact to the bass and treble wise perfect and obviously a little less brighter than the EW 200 so overall they did a really really good job tuning this and it's a triple driver and it's not that expensive. It's probably the cheapest triple driver I have that I can think of right now. So anyway, EW300 from Simgot, the DSP model and the regular model. One has a nice braided cable. One has this nice straight silver cable, which also looks very nice. And you don't have to have a DAC because, you know, it comes with it. Plus it comes with all those extras. So, I mean... It's a win-win with this one. I really do like this one, and I really would recommend this one. And I haven't said that a lot lately. I said I like it, or I said it's a favorite. I would recommend this one, definitely, especially the standard model. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, and I will see you in the next video.